Hello guys and welcome to another Clash mini video. In today's video, I'm gonna show you the best shield maiden deck in the meta right now. Our win conditions with this deck is the Pekka and the Battle Healer. And the other ones are the support minis. And if you want to change something in this deck, changing the Speed Woblin or the Prince to the Wizard or the Ice Wizard will be a solid uh, choice. But for now, I'm just gonna play like this and we are so close to hit 4100 trophies. Can we do it with this deck? Well, let's find out. All right, we are facing a shield maiden player in this time. So I'm gonna put down the miner on top of the revive tile and let's take a look at the gizmos. King tower will be so good. And I'm gonna put down the battle healer in here. This is the perfect starting uh, against the shield maiden. Now you may wonder why I don't put the battle healer on top of the revive because the battle healer will just not die in here, I'm sure. But uh, the miner will most likely die because of the shield maiden ability. Now the miner is doing a really good job against his wizard. Come on. The first soul of the wizard is down. And now the miner locks down on top of the shield maiden. And I kinda like that because we will uh, do a lot of damage on top of his shield maiden. While his minis will not be able to deal that much damage. Because they are all dealing one damage per hit. While the miner is dealing two. Come on. And that's the win for us surely in here nice there's one thing that i don't like about the shield maiden and it's that when you face another shield maiden the match will probably be ended by the tiebreaker but not with my deck so i'm gonna upgrade my battle healer to the second ability and re-roll for now i'm gonna scrap the uh, miner and put down the pika because uh, the pika will be so good against his battle healer uh, and I know he might upgrade his wizard to the heal cut ability, but that's not a problem because you believe it or no, the heal cut of the wizard can't counter the battle healer. It's so strange, I know, but it is what it is. Now the Pekka looks on top of the uh, lumberjack and beautiful critical hit by the Pekka. Now as you are looking, the uh, heal cut of the wizard can't counter the battle healer. So. The Pekka is the perfect uh, counter for here. So as you are looking, the amount of damage that we are getting from that Pekka is so insanely huge. And with the combination of the battle healer as well, the Pekka will just not die and finish everything for you. And that was easy round 2 victory for us. Okay, now in the third round... Mm, yeah, I'm gonna upgrade my Pika to the first ability, which is the best one. Firstly, upgrade it to that ability if you play it with this deck. And after that, I'm gonna put down a Miner in here. That's the best thing that we can do. Now let's get ready and wait for our opponent to get ready as well. Okay, we are starting now finally. Let's see. He plays his Rocket in the second lane. Well, I don't think that was a good play because... I can go for the king tower and finish it. Now the Pika is doing a really great job against his battle healer. Alright, he got the rocket but I don't think that was so valuable for him. His battle healer is down and that's a big advantage for me. My Pika is dealing a lot of damage on top of his shield maiden. His shield maiden will be down probably now. Yes, and I think this is going to be the victory for us in here. Let's go. Easy 3 and 0 victory. Alright, this time we are facing a Countess player. Well, that's what we like to see. Countess is in a really good position in this meta. I'm gonna uh, make a good deck for her in one day. But for now, against the Countess, what we must do in here is going for the Pekka. And just like that. I'm not gonna go for another mini because that will just help the Countess to get her stacks. Because route number one against the Countess with the Shield Maiden will most likely be for him. Come on, Pekka, one critical will be so good in here. Nice! The Ice Wizard is down. We might have a chance. Perfect Shield Maiden ability and the first soul of the county is down. We really might have a chance in here. Come on. Oh no, the Pekka is down. Come on, Shield Maiden. One Shield Maiden ability will be kind of clutch. Oh no. This is not enough for us in round number one. But uh, in the future rounds, we will be really good. Let's see. Hmm. Nice. The war will be really great in this matchup because he has the ice wizard. So firstly, I'm gonna upgrade my Pika to the first ability and put down this maze just in case. And that's what we love to see. I'm gonna scrap those two and upgrade my Pika to the third ability. 
and after that I will place my war toot in the second lane which is the best position for it and for the shield maiden I think the middle will be better so now let's see what will happen in here he goes for the giant skeleton and the golden giant nice this ice wizard is totally useless in here the uh, Pika will easily shut down that golden giant and after that come on Pika the count is really annoying with that uh, teleportation come on the Pika is not looking on, on top of the uh, countess which is which I don't like to see come on Pika no 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 this is scary can we do it yes yes let's go the Pika just in the right time shuts down the first soul that was clutch so in this round I'm just gonna put down the battle healer and after that reroll you know what I don't want to give the countess a uh, more stack so I'm just gonna cycle all of those two elixir minis in my shop and after that I will just move the battle healer to the front and we should be good like this okay he got a really good value with the spear goblin not gonna lie but the battle healer is healing my pk back which is so good and the first soul of the countess is down come on and the second soul is down by the shield maiden ability that was really clutch now the pika will shut down the ice wizard probably yes and oh no this is a little bit scary because he can have a chance with the tiebreaker but hopefully one hit and two hit on top of the spear goblin now i am sure that i am gonna win because the pika has six hps because of the second soul let's go in this round I'm just gonna upgrade my battle healer to the second ability after that reroll and I'm gonna upgrade here again to the first ability this time and that's it I don't have to do anything more okay we are starting let's see if that can work or no wow he has the royal ghost well that can bring some problems for my PK if he upgrades him in the next round my shield, my battle healer is down which is not good but the PK is alive which is our win condition in here that's what we like to see come on Pika beautiful critical hit and another one finishes the countess he did a really big mistake by not putting the countess on top of the revive tile anyways we are taking it at any time anywhere and that's the victory for us against this countess player in this time we are facing the barbarian king one of the no skill heroes okay in the first round it's so important to put down the battle healer and I'm gonna put down the spear goblin in the second lane and the battle healer in the far back so that the battle healer will take the aggro of his archer and after that because the spear goblin is in the front hopefully the battle healer will keep him alive now let's see okay that's one star wizard oh no that's really bad well I must say that was a really well played by our guy with upgrading his wizard with the heal cut in the first round like this I think we are not going to get enough heal in this round and yeah we will probably lose round number one but in the future rounds there is always a way to come back okay in the second round nice we have the pancaker that's really good so firstly i'm gonna upgrade my battle healer to the second ability after that reroll another one nice i'm gonna upgrade my battle healer again at this time to the third ability and I'm gonna put my pancaker in there oh, so that the pancaker will target the shield maiden but wait mm, I'm gonna move the battle healer to the front so that his uh, wizard will only heal cut one of my minis and not both of them like this come on nice the plan is going like I want uh, the wizard is only heal cutting my battle healer but wait no one is damaging the shield maiden and because of that we are not getting the boost from the battle healer oh no that's not good but wait we might win in here because of the pancaker oh no never mind the wizard is not letting uh, my shield maiden to heal up because of the pancaker and that's so bad that's actually so bad in here for us but there's still chance for us to win so i must not give up in round number three the wizard is not letting us to get value with the pancaker so i'm gonna put down the miner to catch the aggro of the pancaker after that let's move maybe the battle healer in here so that the ice wizard will not slow her down no you know what i'm just gonna put down the pika in here 
and move one tile to the back so that the shield maiden will not hit the backline minis with her ability so that my uh, uh, battle healer can heal her up and give her boost and like this we should be okay all right it is our last chance in here can we do it nice okay the miner is taking the arrow of the pancaker that's very good good healing by the uh, battle healer as well the first shield meeting ability goes on and the wizard is down that's really good and the ice wizard is down as well okay the miner did a really good job in here and the uh, archer will kill herself and like this we are coming back let's go now in this round maybe the miner you know what let's just fiercely upgrade the pika to the first ability after that i have a feeling that he will counter the miner with his position so i'm gonna scrap the miner after that i'm gonna put down the spear goblin just in case after that reroll and nice that's what i like to see i'm gonna scrap the spear goblin and upgrade my battle healer to the three star and let's just get ready and see what will happen okay actually he didn't position his minis uh, against my miner anyways good healing by the battle healer now we are getting the shield maiden ability and that wizard must be down soon yes the wizard is down that's really great come on battle healer one heal please yes we got the heal the barbarian is distracted by the shield maiden ability now we have only one problem and that barbarian the shield maiden is uh, uh, pulling him and we are done for sure we are done here the three star battle healer is so op even the wizard can't counter here okay we are in the last round so i must focus mm, the first thing that i'm gonna do is moving the shield maiden in here and i must not let the ice wizard to slow down my battle healer so i'm gonna move here to there and the pika maybe to the front lines mm, no i want the pika to get healed from my battle healer like this we should be okay and i'm gonna put down the spear goblin in here and i'm not going to use the prince because i think he's not needed in here so i'm gonna show you how broken the combination between the shield maiden and the battle healer is right now i'm gonna swag four elixirs in this round okay let's see hopefully i will not regret that and nice the ice wizard is not slowing down my battle healer which means my shield maiden will get a lot of energies from here and that will give the shield maiden infinite abilities so come on pika our only problem now is that barbarian and the pika is dealing with him one more hit and it is done this win will be for us and we even swagged four elixirs in here that's how crazy this combination is it is so broken it really needs an emergency nerf we have finally reached 4100 trophies and 13 win streaks that's so crazy and don't forget you can always change the spear goblin and the prince to anything that you want i am not using both of them to be honest in most of my matches and thanks so much for watching and see you in the next time bye bye